who's that? Ooh, hi, yeah. <laughs> I'm just uploading the video from yesterday now. Actually, it's uploaded. So yay, now I'm officially on May 4th. Ba -ba -ba. So last night, when I got home, I put together a box for you. All I I use my ankle because I'm still swollen. But I got you one too. One of these. Because you're a hothead. I know I sound kind of melancholy. And I have a 12 page paper that is due tomorrow night. I don't want to talk about it because I don't know. I guess I'm not very proud that I've put it off so much. But I have an hour until I can go to school and take my final. And I'm sure I'm gonna do fine on the final. I just, I know I'm gonna do a bad job on this paper and I've had all month to work on it. I just didn't feel like it, which is a stupid excuse. I never use that excuse, I hate it. Just freaking schedule time to do what you're supposed to do and do it. Let's see. It's not excessively swollen, right? And it's not the swelling that bothers me. It's just the swelling sh shows me that it's not healed all the way. And so when I swim, when I, you know, flutter kick, whatever, I feel it. And yesterday, I stepped a certain way and I felt it. And not painful. I don't know how to say it. I just, I just felt it. That it's not regular. So, your mom, because she, her ankle was hurting so bad, she was limping, she said she just took some Tylenol and um, she got it like massaged or whatever by like your dad and, and that it really started helping. And yesterday she wasn't limping at all. <laughs> That's a message from Rai Rai. Rai, Rai. <laughs> Did you see what's happening in Hawaii? Mmm, check it. I just googled Hawaii, straight up. Focus. And it says eruption of, how do you say that? Kilayo? Kilayo? Mmm. Kilewe? Kalawe? Volcano triggers mandatory evacuations. Mmm. Yeah, and that was within the last hour. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this room a little bit. I want to go to the gym after I do my final. Oh my god, I should just write this stupid paper. I just really don't care about it because I don't think it's important because I think it's a stupid assignment to begin with. This lady, she's like, it has to be 12 pages. <sighs> okay, why? That's pretty arbitrary. How about I tell you what I have to tell you? I just killed a lot of time doing nothing. It looks really nice out here. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like flowers. Time to go ace final and fail a paper. I finished my final. I got an A. I just don't want to do this paper. There's no reason not to, it's easy to just do it and just be done. I just want to go to the gym and I want to, <laughs> and I want to go get some non-skid from Home Depot and I want to drive up to your mom's and hang out with Lily and the kids. I feel tired of school, I don't want it. I don't dislike school, I just think some of the work is stupid. I think this is what burned out is. Not because I've been working too hard, it's just, I don't know, just doing a lot of the same thing. If I was to think about it, just do the right thing. Just do the paper, do the little paper, do the comments, just be done. I don't settle for C's, and I'm making a choice, and I'm choosing to do the wrong thing. <laughs> it's better to turn in crap work than to not turn in any work, right? That's what I'll do. Oh my god, I don't know what my problem is. I don't know why I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm just doing little by little. Ah. It's almost 11 o'clock. 
I'm gonna um, go get the non-skid. I'm gonna skip going to the gym. I'm gonna go straight up to your mom's and, um, I don't know, do whatever we're doing today. I told her I'd um, help for like a half day and then go to Lily's at, uh, once it's later in the day. It's already 11. Won't get up there till 12.30. Ah, if I wasn't like freaking wasting so much time just hating or trying not to do this stuff, then oh, I would have been able to go up there sooner. And the thing is, is I know that um, this upcoming month is going to be just as, as garbagey in terms of like trying to do schoolwork because it's a statistics, statistics class, uh, business statistics, and then I'm going to um, be taking basically a full week off to go do um, the trip with Danny and then the trip with um, Lizzie and Lincoln up north for his graduation, which I technically well, which I guess I don't have to do because no money's committed. No, the only thing reason I'm committed to doing it is because I told him I would. And he already told me, you don't have to go if you have too much work, but I said I would and I want to. I don't know. It'll be okay. Hopefully I'm out of my rut, you know, as of Monday. Okay, so here's a thing that's killing me is that I can't like, it's hard for me to do the paper because I want to do a really good job on it, right? <laughs> so, how can I put it? Like, I'm striving for A's, right? An overall A in the class. But for what? What do I need an A for? Why can't a B be good? C's work, C's get degrees or whatever that crap is. It's just stupid. Why would you not ever try your best? Also, it doesn't help that it feels like it's the day in between spring and summer, and I don't know how else to say it. It's like it's a day off of work in the middle of the week, and you're at home doing nothing in particular, and you get to see your home in a different light. You see your home every single day, but you see it in like this daylight that you don't usually see. That sounds stupid. I don't know how to put it, but it feels weird. First of all, summer as a whole is weird to me. It always makes me feel somehow uncomfortable. It's just stupid. That's how this feels. And I'm on some road that I have no idea what it is. I hope it leads to where I'm trying to go, which is like this Home Depot, or no, Lowe's and Target combo. Some people are against, you know, Walmart because oh, they don't treat their people well enough or, or something like that, right? It's not true, but whatever. That's what they think. So places like Walmart or Target or Costco, um, these big chain chain places. Wait, I know where I am. I think. Hold on. I don't know where I am. What? I do know where I am. What? Okay. I'm by Takayo. I don't even know what okay all right well I'm one third of the way of where I'm trying to get to ha! how I don't know anyway so those big those big chain places they typically have lower prices and that's why people continue to shop at them even when they say they don't like those places um, because the prices are cheaper, prices are cheaper, not because they're jipping their employees, it's because they have economies of scale, right? So when you buy in bulk, you pay less for each item that you're buying because you're buying like 12,000 of them. When these small, like mom and pop places, they, they're gonna have a little bit of a higher price just because that's just how it goes. They had to purchase the same product for a little bit more in order to sell to the end consumer, right? So, when these, like, not quite mom and pop places, more, oh, sorry, changing lanes. I change lanes now. <laughs> Can't talk while I change lanes. So when these sketchy Mexican places are selling, like, the same thing, almost looks, almost looks like it's the exact same name brand thing or just the same product for less than what the chain place is selling it for, 
that means it's bootlegged. So you can still get it cheaper, but it's either not quite the same product or that stuff, that stuff is being traced or something is dark. You don't want it. That's my fun business fact for you. Of course, it doesn't have to be that way. Maybe they somehow got it from a cheaper seller, somehow got a deal somehow. Okay, fine. Exceptions. Or maybe, you know, there's a lot of business practices out there. Maybe I shouldn't be talking because I don't know anything. That's how it seems like it would work. That's how it seems like it would work to me. Also, it's very misleading the way I'm dressed in my sweatshirt and beanie because at least my car says it's 72 out. So it's probably closer to 75 right now. Just throwing that out there. I have no idea where I would find non-squid. I used to walk around stores like with headphones in even because I didn't want anyone to like Hey, can I help you or something? Because no, I don't want to help out to find it myself. I know my way around. Now, I hope they come up to me and ask because I don't want to walk around the store looking for things because now that I live in a different area of San Diego, I don't know where stuff is at these new stores. It's, it's all arranged differently. I need assistance. It's good to me. Got the non-skid. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It comes in tape form, you know. And that's the real name of it, is non-skid. It's not just like a, you know, a navy thing. I didn't know. I honestly didn't. Never needed it before. <laughs> All right, got the non-skid. And then, there's Target. Whoop, over there. Just walk my happy self on over. I'm not gonna be going to the gym. I want to go to the gym. We all know I want to go. But I'm gonna do a full workout if I go and I, don't want to keep Maximino waiting. Sorry, don't want to keep your mom waiting. So I can get two blocks. Well, I guess it'd be a total of, that's like three blocks. And then there and back, six blocks worth of walking today. <laughs> Yay. Okay, we here. But you know, I don't know if you know where we are, but there's a Krispy Kreme right over here. No, 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 don't get distracted. We're not a Krispy Kreme family. We're a hole in the wall donut shop family. Or alternatively, when the time permits, a Mr. Donut family. Ha ha ha. Okay, so the whole reason we're here is because the other night when I was getting stuff, I saw this hair dye stuff that's temporary. And your mom had mentioned something about getting hair, her hair dyed white or, um, or dyeing it black all the way. So, this way we can get like temporary dye and see if she likes it. Ooh, or maybe she wants black. Watch, they're not gonna have white or gray. But that's why we're here. Okay, so I'm gonna get her a gray. I'm gonna get her a black because she has blackish, or it's dark enough to be black hair. Or she has, she wants it all gray. And I was like, are you sure you wanna commit to that? Cause you gotta keep getting your roots done. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Maybe I can go with pink? May I? Nah, that costs money. I don't, I don't care about it for me. I think I would go pink. Like a hot pink. Okay, off to tu madres. I'm thinking <clears throat> I'll just send your box on Monday because I want to just get all the apps off of my old phone onto my new one. I just haven't because I haven't had to. Um, and I kind of just don't feel like it. Bye, Lincoln. I'll see you tomorrow. You I will. We'll get it done, maybe. I, don't know. I aced my final. That's what's important. That is good. So, whoop. I don't know if I'm stopping at Max and Nina's first or not. Oh, by the way, I think I was always saying Max and Nina before. It was because. I guess I'm just talking to myself out loud in my head. I refer to her as Maximina. I don't refer to her as uh, LJ's mom. So maybe that's why when I call her, she doesn't pick up. I think she accidentally blocked my number. Accidentally. Since I got the non-skid, I am still gonna stop by, but um, she said there's not really anything for me to do today. 
to to your mom's house time. Well, I was the sucker today and was just in a whole lot of traffic. But now that I'm here, time to find tu madre. I'm gonna pass off some non-skid. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, little dog. Zuma. This one's Zuma. The other one's name is a little bit. Okay, just don't bark. Okay. There you go. Good girl, Roxy. Drop this off on the table. Go to the bathroom. And then I'm headed over to Lily's. I mean, you probably can't see them, but I see all the the glittery gold flecks from the dirt that got in the car from me closing the door. Blech. Check out these seats in Lily's car. <laughs> they match Kimberly. <laughs> well, the pink. They match the pink. We're on our way to the pool today. <laughs> You're not coming, dear Junior. You're not coming. <laughs> You got me a pillow? I'm saying goodnight to Junior. You want to say goodnight? Goodnight! <laughs> night, Junior. <laughs> I'll show you uh, hopefully some good stuff tomorrow. Um, I know I just think it's weird to like set up a camera and record other people. So I'll see you tomorrow.